Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And if you have got an NVIDIA graphics card, I'm going to be going through each and every NVIDIA control panel settings for you to set it up optimally for best gaming performance. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Okay, first thing is to get NVIDIA app or the NVIDIA GeForce experience. Now, a lot of you guys might be facing NVIDIA app issues, so you can get NVIDIA GeForce experience and then later on upgrade it to NVIDIA app. Once you open up NVIDIA GeForce experience, you'll find the home page, which includes all of the games installed on your PC. It will be auto detected or you can click on the settings gear, go over to games and apps and then scan for the latest games installed on your PC. Once again, go to the drivers section right over here and make sure that you are always on the latest this graphic card driver once you've ensured that you have to download nvidia control panel and you can get it on microsoft store or you can go to the link in the description below simply open up control panel now once nvidia control panel opens up in front of you for the adjust image settings with preview make sure to select on use advanced 3d image settings then simply click on take me there and once you are over here for the global settings you have to set these things image scaling turn this thing on and set the sharpening to 75 to 85 percent this is a rather better range for making sure that your games are more sharpened and using image scaling so you'll get extra fps because the game will be rendered on a lower resolution and will be upscaled to a higher resolution next is the ambient occlusion and i prefer to set this thing to off anisotropic filtering should also be set to off but for such cases in high demanding games you can set this thing to 2x so you get a good visual experience fxaa should be turned off gamma correction should be the only thing in anti-aliasing that you have to turn on and the mode should be set to application controlled then for anti-aliasing transparency set this thing to off background application max frame rate this is one of the most important setting right over here because anything which consumes your gpu running in the background that means behind the main exclusive application that will be running at 20 fps so make sure to set this thing to on and drag the slider all the way to the bottom to ensure that every application running in the background will always be running on the lowest fps possible next is the cuda gpus and for that set this thing to all for the CUDA SysMem fallback policy, set this thing to driver default. For DSR factors, set this thing to off. Low latency mode, this is rather very controversial. So once again, I would recommend you guys to test it on both off and ultra and see whichever gives you better FPS. It differs from monitor to monitor. For my monitor, ultra gives me the best latency. Next is the max frame rate, set this thing to off. Monitor technology, fixed refresh, multi sample, MFAA, set this thing to off. OpenGL GDI compatibility, set this thing to auto open gl rendering gpu set this thing to your native graphic card power management mode set it to prefer maximum performance preferred refresh rate application control shader cache turn this thing on and set it to 10 gigabytes texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization off negative lod bias allow texture filtering quality high performance and trilinear optimization should be turned on then threaded optimization this is the most important thing might have set it to off but turn this thing to on triple buffering set this thing to off vertical sync use 3d application settings and virtual reality to vulcan gn set this thing virtual reality one and off and the vulcan open gl present method set this thing to auto once that is done go to the configure surround physics settings and then for the processor set this thing to your native gpu next go to the display section under the change resolution and you might be missing a very competitive setting right over here for most of you guys might be using the ultra settings over here or the tv settings but you have to scroll down until you find the pc settings and then set the highest refresh rate available for your monitor and then set the native resolution for your monitor that is 1080p for me and over here it gives you to choose the highest refresh rate possible once again if you are on ultra hd this is working for tv so if you select that you cannot choose anywhere above 60 fps but if you have a pc monitor resolution right over here you can go with a higher refresh rate this will make your screen look much more smoother then apply the following color settings select use nvidia color settings and then desktop color depth set this thing to highest and if you have 10 bpc available for your monitor set this thing to 10 bpc output color format should be rgb and dynamic range should be set to full once again on my second monitor 10 bpc is not available so leave it to 8 next is the adjust desktop color settings in which the only thing that i recommend you guys to change is a digital vibrance set this thing to 70 percentage and that will give you a little bit more saturated look and better visibility in the games scroll all the way down to adjust video 
video color settings and then select with nvidia settings and then don't change anything between the color hue and everything just go all the way down to advanced and then for the dynamic range set this thing to full this will make sure to boost the blacks on your screen ultimately giving you better visibility do this for both of your monitors then adjust video image settings leave everything to as it is you're not gonna use it once that is done simply click on apply and then click on yes after that simply close your nvidia control panel next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc look for a local disk c click on create and name it nvidia i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is the nvidia graphics optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can alternatively join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial in here you'll find in three simple folders the first one has the command latency tweaks which only only has a BCD tweaks which help you to reduce your input latency and second one is the latency tweaks which helps you to reduce the rendering latency. Once again all it does is it runs a few commands automatically that you do not have to run manually and simply right click and run them as administrator to apply both of these tweaks to ensure that your GPU is running optimally. After that go back open the second folder which is the Nvidia GPU optimization in which you'll find the GPU energy driver, power throttling, best settings sfio priority and prioritize nvidia gpu make sure to run all of them you can double click to run them or right click and then click on open this will help you to ensure that your gpu is this will make sure that your gpu is running on the best settings possible on your pc third one is the unwanted services and this is completely optional it helps you to gain extra fps by disabling unwanted services in the background such as bluetooth core parking downloading maps extra necessary services printer services transparency xbox third priority and so much more right over here you can simply double click to run all of them or you can spare the ones that you use and if you want to revert them you can use this folder last is the msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run this as administrator once this application opens up you have to locate your gpu right over here then click on the msi button in front of it and then for the inter priority set this thing to high and then click on apply this will make sure that your gpu affinity is set to a higher state using your gpu for rendering the games and applications primarily after that simply close the fps pack and now open up your settings once you're here scroll all the way down to gaming then go over to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on it will help you to disable the apps running in the background and also disabling unwanted notifications to enhance your gameplay experience right after that you'll find graphic settings simply open this thing up and then click on change default graphic settings and over here enable both of these options that is hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games this will ensure that all of the apps and games which utilizes your gpu will utilize your gpu to render the applications as a first preference and it also helps you to reduce the rendering time and rendering latency from your gpu once that is done simply close the settings and now you have applied the best settings for your nvidia graphics card i hope this video might have helped you out so make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button you're really close to 200 000 subscribers and your subscription would really help me i appreciate if you guys can get channel membership it shows your support and we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox and peace out